Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, November 12th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, November 12th? What is the viewer need to see in here for today, November 12th? Let's see here. Okay. So, let's start off with the first one. You have the Hummingbird Spirit. Um, that is a card about uh, pretty much not selling yourself out in that sense of you think you can't do it. Um, it's, it's also telling you to, um, you know, maybe push forward a little bit with endurance. Um, and if you're seeing hummingbirds, it could really be that message of a, a signal um, to maybe um, have more confidence in yourself. And really, it's about endurance because hummingbirds, hummingbirds are amazing in that sense that they can fly backwards. I mean, they uh, visit about a thousand flowers a day um, after even going after like maybe thousands of miles. They can still go further so it's about endurance really so maybe there's something you're trying to start there um you also have the bear spirit which is about healing uh, maybe the ego or uh sort of breaking free shedding your skin in that sense of having some kind of um courage or mental strength or just being healthy okay and then you have the wild rose fairy uh, this is about love so is that love like for yourself or for someone else um, that's something that you can ask yourself and then you have the unicorn which is about um, refreshing um, it also could be about you know believing in miracles maybe believing in yourself um, it's also like that sort of detox kind of cleansing kind of energy with the unicorn um, so maybe there is something there if you if you're feeling stuck with the hummingbird spirit um you know maybe you've been waiting uh for something to sort of tell you okay it's time to go um but maybe that's an excuse or a sense of fear that doesn't allow you to go forward because there's definitely that sense of uh, maybe you're waiting for that perfect moment, but maybe that perfect moment won't come and then you have like a missed opportunity. So this is definitely where you have to question the situation for you. Um, but perhaps maybe this is where you have that endurance to make that change for yourself and really open, be open to fun and celebration and being happy you know because hummingbirds are happy they're very high vibrational creatures as well so um maybe this is you spreading happiness happiness in your situation you know um but perhaps maybe you need a little bit st in, uh, stability is it stability within what you think about yourself or maybe um letting you know that you know maybe you've been waiting for a long time for things to change for you but this is where you have that that endurance that lasting sort of moment of resilience you know and you just go the extra mile so um maybe this is you healing you know like uh shedding those those things that maybe you think that are harsh within yourself or maybe about the situation on the in the exterior so um I do feel like some of it, because of the hummingbird spirit and the bear spirit together, you really have to like pat yourself on the shoulder and don't beat up on yourself really um, to change something and really have confidence. And this is where the wild rose fairy comes in with love. It's like having self-love for yourself so that if you have trouble in relationships, that way when you do give love to somebody, You'll find that perfect uh, pair or that match or fix the situation where they can give you back the same amount of love that you are shelling out, you know. Um, but I do feel with the the unicorn, there is that sense of um, is it discovering or believing in yourself or um, 
changing something maybe it's believing in miracles or, or god or spirit or whatever that might be for you because they are very magical it is about really being purified um so perhaps this is where you have to start believing in magic and leave all the negativity behind you and that could be very hard to do so allow yourself to really emerge in your thoughts um uh, you know, as far as when you want to start over again with something. Uh, let's see here. You have the wise woman of the grove. Th that is telling you with this message that, you know, you're where you've been. You've learned your lessons. Um, and so don't make the, mis the mistakes again. You know, um, maybe you're finding some kind of healing energy within yourself to let go of things. And that's the endurance or that push because uh, what I told you about the hummingbird is like they can go around and around and around and still do some more laps, you know, it's full of endurance, really. Um, you have at the bottom of the deck, which is the underlying energy, it's waterfalls and rainbow waterfalls. And it is about miracles. So see, um, maybe the things that you just are waiting to s s somehow come to fruition you're losing that confidence or um i don't know do you think you're not worthy of this change or something like that you know you have to take it as it resonates it is a general reading but um it, it's really almost like that healing kind of energy where maybe you've blocked out all the ego stuff with the bare spirit you know and now you're going in the right direction you're going to have a new beginning as far as transform transformation okay so um take it as it resonates for you i do feel like this is a lot of healing energy which is good because it's going to take away all the dark stuff which is great i will go a little deeper in this and see what these mean for you uh welcome please like share and subscribe have um i always appreciate you guys leaving comments and that good stuff i hope you guys are doing good let's see here they seem like positive cards maybe you're just sort of having um you know a step back instead of forward but don't beat yourself up if that's the case really uh so let's see here i want to know what what is the hummingbird spirit what does that mean hummingbird spirit see um it's really i do feel it's about moving okay you have the Eight of Cups um, moving from the things that you're not being fulfilled in. They're not serving a purpose for you anymore emotionally, physically, maybe even mentally. It is Cups, so maybe it's love. Maybe there's something there and something that you've been committed in with the Four of Wands. Um, are you supposed to walk away from a, a commitment, maybe a marriage or job or a family something you know a, a, a commitment with the family are you supposed to walk away from that you know this you have this sort of feeling and you need that little push to do it or is this really you walking away from something and already knowing what partnership you want or um you know because this could be a good partnership that you want to go with with the four of wands um is it a new partnership maybe it's marriage maybe it's a business um some kind of a contract or something like that okay you have the temperance and the four of swords so it's almost like there's some sort of peace in this situation maybe you're leaving a, a difficult situation and you're going towards peace uh, relaxing um for some of you, this could even be getting ready to go vacationing, okay? Um, and maybe you haven't been able to vacation for a long time. Uh, but with the temperance, it's like that divine timing. Um, if you're looking to move, maybe it's the next step. I feel it's like the next step. As I look at it and uh, what they're saying is like, it's the next step for you to get into whatever it is that you've been waiting for, okay? Um, so maybe you're looking for that new partnership, that new relationship or job or home or something like that. Okay. Four of swords, but see the hummingbird is definitely, yeah, it's telling you, um, with the 10 of swords, get out of that stuck energy. 
Um, there's really that sense of putting to an end of some kind of dragging of your feet, some kind of stagnation, maybe always feeling hurt or betrayed, um, or maybe just attracting negative things. I do feel like the Four of Swords is ending that. In the Ten, the Swords being a Ten, I do feel like that's ending. But you have this one as well. So you got the Page of Swords. See all swords thinking thinking your thinking is what's getting you into the place where is there's going to be more harmony and more peace more healing more abundance um it could be either one of those things for you or maybe all they say okay um so yeah it's almost like don't worry really um i want to know what's temperance what is the temperance please what is the temperance so you know i talk to a lot of people a lot of the time on email all that kind of stuff um and everybody's going through different hardships and some are good and some are bad and it's almost as if you have to sort of hang in there for whatever this is so you got the death card so the death card is great um this could be that sense of being able to end something and then being able to start something so it's it's an ending but yet a beginning uh for some of you it is maybe um, ending a hard relationship or a hard uh, business or something to do with your family, you know, um, but it, it's giving you that chance to start up again is what I'm seeing there. Okay. Um, transformation really could be a transformation. Um, even for some of you, I know that maybe this is could even be like an actual death where you have to sort of give yourself time to rest or get over and grieve you know and i do feel that for some of you you could be getting out of that stage now you know getting ready to go into that that place where you've been healed okay um and that's not for all of you it's it's for the ones that it resonates with what is the four four of wands please but it's that sense of getting set free okay so that's a positive thing i think um three of swords see negative marriage negative partnership in business negative family kind of uh tension um you know it, i do feel the ten of swords and the three of swords it's like the situation has happened for you for a long time and maybe you have been going around and around because when i saw the hummingbird i could see it flying around um but i do feel maybe that's a cycle that you've been on and it's been betrayal and you felt sort of lost and gave up hope but something is sort of sparking this change here with the Eight of Cups because you're moving away from something. It's it's not thinking about it. You're doing it, you know, and maybe you've thought about it for, for a long time. What's the Eight of Cups? What's the Eight of Cups, please? Um, OK, so something toxic, guys. You got the Devil, the Three of Swords, um, the Death card. It's almost as if you've got to get out of this this cycle and i think that that's what the hummingbird is trying to tell you um you can continue continue a little bit longer and it, you're going to be able to change the situation because you're thinking about it so in other words it's like you're manifesting something better um and for some of you i do feel that especially in the twin flame community uh the more that we think about or the more we pray and, and really sit and think as a collective we have the power to change it you know it's prayer really it, it it does change so if you know if you guys are having the same similar situations a good thing to do would be to meditate and just really send a lot of love and healing energy to twin flames everywhere because it will affect you you know um and that's what they're saying for today for everybody in general um i want to know oops i was going to ask what is the bear spirit the, see this is funny because four of cups is meditation what i was just saying so i think that especially um with the 11 11 porthole yesterday this is where it's collective uh, the collective consciousness is really coming together so through meditation and really concentrating on what you want is how you're having this sort of courage to break free from something what is the four cups for the bear spirit so four cups i think it's like you've been waiting um but i think you've been like doing it on a healthy way where um it's almost like you're making contact with um 
with your consciousness, which is allowing you to manifest things right now really quickly. Okay. Um, four of cups. What is the four of cups? So you have see the world. So new cycles, new things, lessons learned. Um, and then the star. So it's perfect timing. It's divine timing. I think that whoever this is, whether it's you or them, it's really having that kind of feeling of confidence. Um, like you can do it, like you've changed. Maybe this is somebody who's finally broke through and had the full ascension versus, you know, when you're having um, the early stages of the death card um, as far as transformation wise. Sorry, guys, that was Roycey. Um, as far as the transformation wise, um, the death card, you would go through the dark night of the soul. You would be crying. You would be you know one moment this way happy and then the next moment sad and crying and just sort of you know really yo-yo kind of energy but i feel this is somebody who's at the end of it they've accomplished it so with that they're saying expect great changes guys um yeah so i want to know what is the wild rose um and see that's about love that's loving yourself so you can love the other and perhaps i did touch in on this with the when i first saw it it's almost as if did you find enough love to leave a hard relationship to one that is loving and it gives you back what you deserve so i think that this is what's happening here um wild rose what does that mean wild rose fairy so um the fool that new beginning ready to take that leap of faith not really looking back very carefree um very uh what is it innocent like innocence like just like the the canvas is just white you can paint on it whatever you want and then you have the page of pentacles see um a level of understanding knowledge uh knowledge really brings the sense of knowing uh, on an intuitive level that's knowing in your heart with your faith that everything's going to turn out okay okay and the high priestess and i do feel like that is change i think that that is your intuition intuitioning your intuition opening um for some of you maybe you haven't quite seen the change yet and that would be telling you to follow the intuitions and the symbols that you see and things are going to start sort of revealing themselves for you okay um but i think this is a beginning for somebody um that is understanding their you know their their mind really being able to control their mind and get them out of this devil energy depression maybe sadness betrayal um just really stagnant energy with the ten of swords like you could just see it like it just looks dreadful you know so this is mind over matter power is what they're saying they just said it it's someone who has perhaps maybe mastered something with their mind and i feel this is someone who's very powerful and maybe because they were diluting themselves with the devil energy they didn't know how powerful they are and now they're starting over that's why i feel the transformation is over and somebody here is now starting to know how to manifest the positive things and not attract the cycle the things that just the negative things that keep coming okay um I want to know what is the unicorn so this is under that um umbrella of mystery and revealing and believing and having faith detoxing getting healthy um i'm babysitting a dog guys so i'm sorry if you hear if you hear her barking yeah uh let's see here so i want to know what is the unicorn what is the unicorn please what is the unicorn okay so you got the ten of wands and the knight of cups so coming out of that oppression that bondage that uh thing of maybe being a yes person to whoever you know not being able to say no and you just keep stacking up the load for yourself with the ten of wands um but this is that inspiration or that sense of of um resilience that you're 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 ending it you're 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 gonna um, make a change in it especially with the knight of cups so it's it's definitely a fresh start um it's a move it's an action it's action to get out of a stagnant kind of energy 
Um, and maybe it is somebody who is believing in miracles uh, because with the hangman, it is an enlightenment. Someone has been enlightened, they're ascended, okay? And then you've got the emperor, which is great. So um, I do feel if this is a person who sort of went away from you in your life, um, I feel like it could be a person that needed to do that in order to gain control of themselves again, if that makes sense, okay? Um, and maybe be able to be a father or a good provider or uh, a husband or even just someone who is stable, stable enough to offer you something, you know, because there's an offer coming in here. I think that offer would be a miracle and it'll be out of the blue, really. So look out for something. What is the Knight of Cups? I want to know. Okay, what's this one and this one? Um, so the thing is with the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, you got the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. It's almost as if you can't hold yourself back more anymore, you know? With the Seven of Swords holding yourself back in that state of maybe depression, loss, um, grieve, regret, um, you know, blaming yourself, maybe cheating yourself out of time. Or maybe recognizing that, you know, you can change these kind of things about you, especially if you were doing them to other people. So um, this is truly that sense of having some kind of control, um, maybe over your emotions and your ego. I said it early on with the bear spirit. It's your ego um, that held you back for a long, from a long time, maybe from not believing in the unicorns, you know. Um, cause see unicorns to us are, are fairy tales, right? Like they've made us believe that there's no such thing as a unicorn. And so if you believe in a unicorn, you believe in miracles. So this is somebody who didn't believe in miracles and maybe they didn't believe in the miracle of themselves, you know, um, depending on what the hardship was. So I do see a change there. Give me one more, please. One more, um, one more. They're not blaming other people. They're taking accountability for their own actions, is what they said. Um, yeah, see, Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Wands. So that's the rebirth that this person has had, is that they're owning up to their stuff. And I think that that was very, um, very hard to do in the past, okay? So very nice energy, really. Um, I want to know, how does this story end, please? How does this story oh with a new love maybe um getting away from some kind of trickery maybe changing your your job your where you hang out your your tribe whatever that is anything that was trickery you know you're escaping it really and the eight of cups so walking away i think i think you've learned to have love for yourself and you've escaped your mind maybe for some of you you know uh what else seven of cups so this is a new opportunity um with the seven of cups i think that uh this is a more kind of natural kind of uh choice that you're going to make in that sense of you're not making a, a really rash decision about something you're you're actually paying attention before you do it and that's making it be a better choice so you've given yourself a better opportunity is what i'm saying here okay um so yeah let's see i want to know uh, how do they continue to manifest this please how do they continue to manifest this is what i want to know okay um shift it says shift the the way to a new potential see um definitely a new new opening for you and befriend the the word Polarize, So really polarize everything that you're doing. In other words, get big, you know, don't be scared to get big. Um, and also they're saying collectively, okay? And that's what I spoke about. Um, because as twin flames, you can polarize that energy, really. You can, if you take time to meditate with some kind of music like this, light a candle and just come from the heart. You can send a lot of love to twins um, because with more love, more twins will heal. Um, so let's see here. I want to do the, what is the karmic cycle here? Roycey, please. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. 
okay sorry about that guys i had to readjust what is the karmic situation here please what can you show me okay hold on they fell down on mr royce of course okay all right so let's see here you have the camera um so reminiscing uh a keepsake um learning from the past making memories this is also i feel it's like a double-edged sword in that sense of whoever this is they've experienced this thing of dreading the past like re reliving it over and over and over and that's what i saw in the very beginning and the seven of swords and the the five of pentacles showed the same thing um so the palm tree so this is good because that's definitely stability security performance growth it's very much what the emperor was saying in that sense of maybe you couldn't give that stability or now you can because you're stable within yourself or vice versa okay and um, so the photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories so see that is definitely that sense of maybe they have regrets of the past or you do you know but definitely willing to make new memories um okay engagement ring so partnership commitment eternity completion a union and remember i told you somebody's finished like with a cycle here so dating meeting someone new for some of you you've gotten out of a really dark relationship and you're gonna meet somebody new you know um the ace of cups does denote that so maybe meeting up with somebody okay um not enough so frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage ego issues jealousy so that's the karmic that's who they're leaving okay and then addiction so codependent obsession possession controlling um has a block so i do feel like that's part of it as well okay so let's see here i want to know what is the insight please what is the insight and i just saw 222 on the camera so if that is relevant for, for anybody um change is coming the world is always moving and evolving change is the only true constant embrace the flow of life and allow new things to come to you as they will definitely um, and then embody your uniqueness there is only one of you don't cheat the world out of your authentic self by being someone you aren't find all your quirks and embrace them be you definitely i feel like that was a big part of it what is the abundance message here please what is the abundance message here Ever since we had the time change, my dogs, as soon as it gets dark, they want to eat. It's like not time to eat yet. They're staring at me right now. If you could see them. Uh, let's see here. You have uh, receiving. So every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. Very nice. And then you have the loss. So sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. And see, I do feel whoever this is, you've been suffering from a loss, you know, maybe an actual loss of a person or just of situations and just, you know, maybe you've held yourself back. So take it as it resonates. Um, love, divine source is the idea no person place or thing is your salvation only love itself that is right yep that is true um so let's see here let's do the affirmation what is the affirmation for today please the affirmation okay so it says today i am glowing today i have huge amounts of energy and focus and take to any challenge very nice focus to take any challenge there you go i said it wrong the first time okay so let's do the angel message what is the angel message please hold on he keeps looking at me i'm telling you guys hold on 
Okay, remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Very nice. That is so true. And divine order. Archangel Raquel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Because there's a lot of things changing in the world. And um, just focus on the, the positive change that it's going to bring. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's close it off with the Kuan Yin, please. The Kuan Yin. What is the Kuan Yin message here, please? Okay. So this one right here. Medicine of the Divine Mother. Choose your divine medicine to feel grounded and peaceful. Your morning walk, daily paper or yoga class. Your time to dance each evening or meditate. To do an oracle card reading or to sit quietly with a cup of tea and reflect upon what you are grateful for, for that moment. Simply daily routines done with awareness allow you to feel my love for you. So very nice. Keep pushing forward. Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right. So thank you so much, guys. I have to break it off because I'm telling you, my dogs are like, feed me. Feed me, lady. They want to they eat. <laughs> okay. So thank you, guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.